Change. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, Miracle Working God. You are worthy, worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Animo shiatana ba karia ba sete. Reke tele be kerima suka na mande mo siata. Reba shiatana ba korobo mosa. Anama ma mande la ba korobo sika na mande le be keria. Mande le be keria suka na mande ba karia. Anana na masoto bo kori ba siki. Lika na mande le be keria ba sete. Le ba 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 mande la ba korobo mosa. Loko sika na mahanda ba karia. Letele be keriba suka na mahanga. Retele be keriba sende. Riaka na mama mama. Ayaba koso toro bokori ama seke nende. Rika na mande raba koro mosika na mahanda. Raba setele be keriba soto. Mande be 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 riata bakaya. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. I welcome you. Holy Spirit. Moving our lives, I welcome you, breath of God, come and take your place. I welcome you. Come and move in our lives. I welcome you, breath of God. Come and take your place. Take your place. Counselor. Yes, we do. 
service to you, O Lord, and we say, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, have your way. Have your way throughout this program. Have your way, Lord God. Touch us and transform us. Speak to us like only you can do. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Hallelujah. Somebody just shout a loud hallelujah. Where you are sitting, shout a loud hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 126, the Bible says when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion. We were like those who dream. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then they said amongst the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Then they said amongst the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Can I pause here and just declare over your life tonight, the Lord is bringing a miracle into your life and it will feel as if you are dreaming. Hallelujah. I declare over your life tonight, hallelujah, that those who were doubting your God are coming to say, the Lord has done great things for him. The Lord has done great things for him. Whose word is that tonight already? Who is the Lord locating already? Yes, they are coming to say, the Lord has done great things for you. They are coming to testify on your behalf. If that's your word tonight, go ahead and type out and declare, my dreams are coming to pass. Can somebody just take that word, own that word and say, my dreams are coming to pass. <coughs> Can you just type it out tonight and declare my dreams, my dreams, my dreams are coming to pass. According to Psalm 126, my dreams are coming to pass. Hallelujah. And I declare, yes, your dreams, your dreams are coming to pass in Jesus' name. I have declared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, somebody's dreams, somebody's dreams are coming to pass and your neighbors, your colleagues, your family members are coming to declare and testify on your behalf and say, look what the Lord has done for her. See, the Lord is doing great things in her life or in his life. And we give God all the glory for that word already. We thank God already for that word tonight in the name of of Jesus and so I welcome you all tonight to the threshing floor all the men and women of God online we honor you and we welcome you to 
to the floor tonight. Hallelujah. All the women on the threshing floor. And please let me also add all the men on the threshing floor. You know, some time back when we were just starting, my daughter said, this is family on the, thre <laughs> on the threshing floor because men are here, women are here, children are here. So I, I, I believe that the, the Lord is expanding women on the threshing floor and men are joining in, children are joining in. So all the men on the threshing floor and the women on the threshing floor and children on the threshing floor, you are most welcome tonight. Together with Apostle and the children, we say thank you for tuning in tonight. Hallelujah. And this is the grand finale of the month of August. Hallelujah. Our month of love. And traditionally, can I just tell you, traditionally, when it is the grand finale, God shows up. And God shows off in a very special way on the floor. And tonight will not be different. Hallelujah. Tonight will not be different. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time on the threshing floor, this is the place of separation. Hallelujah. As we are threshing tonight, there will surely be a separation. Everything that is not from God. Mazeka Namahanda. Everything. And I repeat, everything that is not from God will be blown away by the wind of the Holy Spirit. As we are threshing, the wind of the Holy Spirit will come through and blow off everything that is not from the Lord in the name of Jesus. And this is the place of judgment tonight through his Holy Spirit and power. The Lord will judge the enemy. And at all times I say, when we say enemy, we are not looking at people. We don't see people's faces. But when we say enemy, we are talking about every sickness. We are talking about every delay. We are talking about every disease, every plan of the enemy. The Lord will judge it in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is the place of worship where we worship God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. And so I believe you are all welcome. I believe you all feel welcome. And please, can I take some time to also ask that you share the link, invite someone to come on the link, remind your sister, remind your brother, remind your cousin, and tell them we are live on the floor. Invite someone, share the link, share it on all your groups, and, and, and let them know that we are live on the floor. Hallelujah. And now I said tonight is not business as usual. It's the grand finale. And I will not be ministering, but the Lord is giving us one of his best. <laughs> the Lord is giving us tonight one of his best as we are closing off this month of love tonight on the threshing floor. Now tonight on the threshing floor, the Lord has prepared a vessel. And this vessel is none other than my daughter. Hallelujah. The Lord has prepared a vessel and this vessel is none other than my daughter, Minister Foibe Fabiano. Hallelujah. And when, when you go to the other side, they will call her Phoebe, but we are saying Foibe. Hallelujah. So Minister Foibe Fabiano, now each time I see Minister Foibe, I thank God. Do you know why I thank God? When we started with Abundant Life Ministries, Apostle and myself, when we started with Abundant Life Ministries, Royal Assembly, in our living room, she was the first spiritual daughter who joined the service with our biological children. So I call her my first. I call her our first. She is my first fruit in the Lord. Hallelujah. And I just want to thank God for her. So she is, every time I see her, it's like the Lord is reminding us that our labor was not in vain. And our labor is not in vain. So Minister Foibe might, uh, for those of you who might not know her, and for those of you who might see her for the first time tonight, may I warn you, she, she looks very, very soft. 
Mm. And, and sometimes she sounds very, very soft. But can I warn you, she is a dangerous weapon in the hands of the Lord. She is a dangerous weapon in the hands of our maker. So tonight, women on the threshing floor and all our guests who are here tonight, may we all with the joy of the Lord, Please help me welcome to the floor tonight the coordinator of women on the threshing floor, Ventuk Branch Minister Foibe Fabiano, to bless us tonight. Hallelujah. Minister Foibe, you are welcome. Please leave everything on the floor as the Lord has ordained and directed you to do. You can just unmute yourself. And, and and open your 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 video and then uh go ahead sweetheart go ahead praise the lord hallelujah <laughs> thank you so much prophetess for the introduction uh good you evening Prophetess, good evening, Apostle. Um, good evening, women and men on the threshing floor tonight. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am indeed <clears throat> humbled to minister tonight on the lost threshing floor. And I do believe that you will all be blessed tonight. It's indeed the grand finale, um, it's actually said that the month of love is coming to an end. <laughs> but I believe that um, when you talk about the love of God, every month, every day should be all about love. Amen. Um, it has been a wonderful month of love, the month of August. It sounds unusual, actually, because a lot of us associate love for February. But I tell you what, where I actually come from in the north, August is actually the month where most weddings takes place. So it literally fits to call August the month of love. And I do believe some of us or most of you on the floor must have found love in, in August. I believe so. It must be so. You cannot exit the month of love without having found love or having experienced love in one way or another. Amen. Amen. Um, yeah, Valentine's is, is, is often linked, or Valentine's Day, which is now February, it's really a month that is often linked to romantic love. I'm calling it romantic love because that is not the love we are talking about here. It's often linked to romantic love. And many people, maybe even some of us here on the floor tonight, will go all the way out to really make this day special for someone. We go all out to express our love and show uh, our love to friends, to our kids, to our spouses, to our partners, to our colleagues. Some even do that to, to their pets, isn't it? Just to make them feel loved on that special day. But there's one thing I often uh, wonder, this kind of love, doesn't seem to be there every day. And I think perhaps that is why people go out all the way only on that one day to make it a special day. But the irony of the thing is that this love, is it, does it really, is it there every day? Would you say in February, every single day, apart from before the 14th and after the 14th, do you really celebrate this love or it's only on that day of Valentine's Day? But the truth is, this love doesn't seem to be always there. And that is really the truth. The truth is there's no consistency when it comes to this kind of love. The truth is this love, I think it turns sour, it fades out. Some of them call it their normal feelings. You find someone who is even hurt even the day after Valentine's. So it's, 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 it's a very kind of, I would not call it special love, I don't know what kind of love to call it, but, but we call it love in any ways. We call it love. Amen. 
And I always like to give an example <clears throat> of weddings. I've, 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 I've witnessed a number of weddings, including my own. And I'm sure so many of you, you, you I, I will reflect one wedding. Um, I was in the audience when the bride and groom are exchanging vows, exchanging rings. In the audience, people are like, wow, this is love. Some people even shed tears. They are really crying like, oh my gosh, I want this kind of love. And after that wedding day, a lot of people are going out like, I'm so inspired, guys. I want to have a wedding like their wedding. These people are so in love. But I tell you what, <clears throat> what happens after five months or even after a year, you can meet the same couple. And then you wonder, what happened? What went wrong? Are these the same people that I was just at their wedding a few months ago? What happened? And I know that <clears throat> many of us do really yearn for a sort of a more lasting sense of comfort. We yearn for a love that doesn't come and go. We want a love that is not dependent on circumstances or on people for its expression. We want a kind of love that is so stable. And then the question I have tonight is, do we think such kind of love exists? Is there such kind of love? And I tell you what, <clears throat> tonight I just want to reconfirm what prophetess even already uh, said on the first Friday when we opened the month of love um, <clears throat> with a scripture from Romans chapter five, verse eight. Because I want to confirm to you that this kind of love does exist. It has been in existence. If you haven't experienced it, if you don't know it, I think from tonight as we exit the month of love, I want you to know that this kind of love is there. This kind of love has been there. I want us to quickly read Romans chapter five, verse eight. <clears throat> but God, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> but God demonstrates his own love, his own love for us in this way. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And this is the love of God that we're talking about. This is the love that comes from God himself. Like the Bible says, God showed us his own love. This is the, the love that comes from God himself. A love that, <coughs> sorry, it's a love that is infinite. I mean, God himself is infinite. So his is an unfailing love. It's an unconditional love. Amen. And because God is spirit, then love is spirit. And therefore, this is the divine love. We call it divine love, which is holy, spiritual, and unchanging. It, it does not depend on any circumstances. And that is really what I want to confirm to us tonight, that this love has been there. And last, last Friday, Minister Inet came in with a different angle. And she, and she reaffirmed this love. She asked us a question. Who then can separate us from this love? Who? And she, and she encourages that. Let us not allow anything to separate us from the love of God. It is so precious. Let us not allow anything because this love is meant to be there. It's meant to be there if you embrace it. Amen. And so, ladies and women on the threshing floor, that was just my introduction, by the way. That is just the introduction. I just wanted to reflect and reaffirm what this love is all about. And so my message for tonight is titled, Learning God's Love Through Loving. Learning God's Love Through Loving. It's like we are learning God's love, but through loving. 
it's more or less like practicing God's love in, in another way. It's more I can say um, living God's love. Amen. Let's go to the book of First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4. Um, I would like to start from verse 7. I'll read verse 7 and verse 8. Amen. The seven uh, reads, I'm reading from the Amplified Vision. Beloved, let us unselfishly love and seek the best for one another. For love is from God. And everyone who loves is born of God and knows God through personal experience. Verse eight. The one who does not love has not become acquainted with God, meaning he does not and never did know him because God is love. The one who does not love has not become acquainted with God, does not, does not and never did know him because God is love. So that is now the one who does not love. If you do not love, it means you do not know, you're not acquainted with God. And that is the kind of love that I want us to, to know more and to, to start loving others with the love of God. We need to love others with the love of God. Amen. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> This love of God, it embraces all. It's not, it's, it's not just for you alone. It's not good enough if, if you have the love of God and then that's it. It embraces all. It embraces each and every one of us. And like I said before, this love, it's so stable. It's unconditional. It's consistent. It's inclusive. It's not feelings-based. It's not that kind of love you say, I, today I have feelings for you. Tomorrow I don't have feelings for you. No, it's not about that. It's not the kind of love. And therefore, brethren, I want to urge that we need to turn to God in prayer so that he brings his love to our lives. And also so that he brings his love to our life and also to those whose lives we touch. This love of God is to be shared with others because it's unselfish. It's unselfish love. Christ died for all of us. He didn't die for one person or for two people. He died for the whole world. And so we need to learn God's love through loving, through applying it to all humanity. And so when we pray to God, our prayer shouldn't be, God, give me love. No, that is very selfish. We need to pray and say, God, teach me to love. We must ask God to learn to love, okay? And ask God to teach you to love and to have a heart for all mankind, to have affection for one another because that is what the Bible is telling us. That who does not, whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. We must aim to be love ourselves like, like God. You must be love. When people see you, they must see love. It's the love of God. The love of God must reflect within us. And that is what we must ask God. God, teach us to love one another. Help us to learn to love. If you don't know how to love with the love of God, you can ask God to teach you that. Amen. In Luke 10, 27, Jesus again commanded us with a great commandment. When he said, we need to love God with all our hearts, with all our soul, with all our strength, with all our mind, and then to love our neighbors as ourselves. Wasn't that him asking us to honor God first as a true source of love? And then to express this love to others as we love ourselves. It doesn't stop with us. The love of God. It's limitless. It's not just for you. It's for everyone. And our prayer should be that God, 
as we appreciate your love for me, teach me to express this love to others. Amen. Teach me to love others because this love was given to us generously. So we must be generous as well. We shouldn't be stingy. And like I said, this love of God is not feelings based. It's not for you to say that I don't feel like I like that brother. I don't feel like I have no feelings for that brother. I can't show him love. No. It's not about feelings. And it's not about just today. It's every day. We must show this love. Because God's love is there for us every day. We do so many things to annoy him. But because of his grace, he will still love us. We can turn back to God, but if we come back to him, he will still accept us. So this is the kind of love that we are commanded to have, that I'm praying tonight that we should have this kind of love. Amen? Learning God's love through loving. That is the message. Learning through. So you must learn this love through loving. You must, it's, it's like leaving the values for your company. You have the values, you know them, but are you living the values? It's not good enough, you know God loves you, but you're not loving others. So as you learn God's love, you must also love. Amen? Amen. So this is the divine nature of love <clears throat> that Christ so perfectly demonstrated. It's so natural for each and every one of us to understand and to express. Because when Christ's love comes to our thought, it should impart that kind of spiritual learning perception of others as God's children so that you are able to heal others. You know that with your love, you can, you can heal a broken heart. If you just show love to someone, you are able to heal a broken heart. You are able to instill a sense of peace and comfort in someone. You are able to Chase out any fear, any envy that will really oppose your natural outpouring of love. So our prayer tonight is that God teach us to love. Teach us to learn to love with your love. Amen. So we must allow the love of God to take root in our, in our thoughts. To show us what we are and what we have as his children. Amen. Because this divine love is limitless. It is with us wherever we go. It, 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 it might be life in us. It provides for us. And it also there to enable us to help others. So we must therefore commit to love without any fear. Don't be scared. The Bible tells us in, in Timothy, 2 Timothy 1, 7, that God, he has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. And <clears throat> according to 1 John 4, 17, <clears throat> the Bible tells us that he that dwelleth in God, no, he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. So throughout any given day, we have numerous opportunities to demonstrate a growing sense or awareness of God's love, okay? And to joyfully strive to feel and express this love essence. And the result should be seen in active or in action. This selfless love for others must be seen in us. This deepening love for God must be seen in us as children of God. Amen. Because God created us in his own image as the expression of his boundless love. So as a result, what we can do is to love with the love of God. Amen. 
with the love of God, not on our own. We cannot do it on our own because if we want to depend on our own feelings, like I said, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We need to depend on God. And <clears throat> I know that the theme of the month, August, is love. But it doesn't mean that we, we, we leave August, September, there's no love. <laughs> That's not what it means. This was just a month for us to, 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 to reaffirm the love of God, or to introduce it to those who have never heard about it, okay? But now as we go, and we need to grow in this love. We need to grow in the love of God. Let us allow the love of God to grow in us. As we get to know God, we must also get to, this love must also grow. Amen? Amen. We must also pray to understand the precious relationship each one of us has with God. We need to develop that strong connection with our creator. It's the only way. Like I say, he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God, in God in him. There has to be that relationship. That connection must be there. And if we have that connection, then you must then commit and say, who then can separate us from the love of God? Amen. So that connection has to be there. Our lives, if we have that relationship with God, our life will be enriched with purpose. Our lives will have that connection to the source of God and the source of all good things. Amen. Amen. And therefore, uh, brothers and sisters, tonight, <clears throat> as we learn to, to as we learn to love the way we are eternally loved, I can guarantee you our lives, your life, will be permanently and irreversibly blessed. We will be blessed for sure. Amen. So, yeah, I'm under the weather, but I, I'm, I'm still humble that I was able to to minister to you tonight. And I really thank prophetess for allowing me <clears throat> to share this, this word with you tonight because I'm, I'm equally blessed. I am equally touched. I'm equally challenged to grow in the love of God. Because like I said, it's boundless, it's limitless. It's with us wherever we go. It's not conditional. It's not based on circumstances. It doesn't matter where you are. You can travel to the north to Swakop. This love is there. So we need to remember that. Let us therefore love one another like Christ has loved us. I, I believe you have been blessed tonight. And I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so, so much, uh, Minister Foibs, for sharing that powerful uh, uh, message with us. I'm just trying to, to link us here. Um, let me just quickly do something here. Okay, somehow I can't. Okay. Yeah, somehow I can't. But I, I really just want to thank God. You know, as you are ministering, it's it's almost like you took us to a spa and, and you are lying in the spa and, and you are we are being massaged, you know, as, as you are speaking. That is that is what I'm feeling. That we are in a in a spa and 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 we are being massaged. That and and that soft music is 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 going on in the spa, you know. And and you just feel that healing virtue coming in us. What a what a beautiful and a, and a, and and the perfect end to this month of love. You know the way you minister the way the way you you took us you know on how to how to learn how 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 we learn god's love through loving and and you know as as you were as you were ministering i'm i'm saying yes your your tone is correct 
your your voice is correct because you don't come to a person and you don't say i love you i love you no you say it softly mm. i love you i because love is such that you need to you need to come down and and tell that person how much you love that person so i really just want to thank god for your life i i i felt the love of god afresh as you were ministering i felt that unconditional, limitless love of God afresh as you were ministering. And I and I really just want to thank God that he used you tonight. I be
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we are we are back online. We give God all the glory. Um, I, I think we have some network challenges, but we thank God the word came out and the word has been ministered. And we are all, as I was saying, all of us are commanded to love. And, and, and we were taught that with our love, we can heal. And with our love, we can comfort. With our love, we can chase fear. I hope, I hope you can hear me. Can you? Can someone just confirm whether you can hear me? Okay. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So we will we will we will we will conclude with the program in in few minutes. But I I just want to invite Apostle just to conclude for us with prayer and also to pray for Minister Foibs, um, for him just to pray for him. We're just trying to sort out things here. Um, we we will be back. Father, you are. You are the king of kings, and you are the great I am, great I am, great I am. Father, you are, you are the king of kings, and you are the great I am, great I am, great I am. Dying. You are awesome and mighty, God, you reign. You are awesome and mighty, God, you reign. And you are the great yeah. great I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank God for his love. Oh, his yes. love is love. Oh, yes. And we thank God oh, for yeah. what he's busy doing on this platform. Oh, yes. We give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for our daughter that ministered tonight. Oh, yes. And uh, we, 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 we know that God who have chosen you for a time such as this will continue to use you. Uh, uh, mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before I go into the prophetic declaration for the end of this month on threshing floor, everyone, I want you to just connect so that we pray for the vessel that God has used for us tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we bring before Father, you this wonderful and precious Father. daughter. We thank yes. you for the days of our life. Yes. We thank you for we know your word said yes. the plans you have for her yes. is not to harm her, Rabbi but to Sita prosper Rabbi her, Rabbi to Rabbi give her an expected end. Yes. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you. Yes. We declare today that Rabbi the plans Rabbi of Rabbi God Rabbi for your life yes. surely come to pass. Amen. We declare that only the counsel of God we manifest Rabbi in Rabbi your Rabbi life Rabbi in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord. because you have obeyed Rabbi the Lord, Rabbi because. Rabbi you have responded to the call because you have served on this platform. I declare that the blessing of the Lord will flow into your life, into your home, into your marriage, into your ministry, into everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke any hand of the enemy that want to stretch itself towards you in the mighty name of Jesus. What the Lord has not planned in your life, we uproot it yes. in the name of Jesus. And I declare the enemy and his agent have no access, no right to come and touch you yes. because you are the daughter of the Most High yes. God. You are loved by God. You are settled by God yes. in the mighty name mm. of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we thank God. Now just take time to 
release the prophetic blessings Amen. and declaration over our life for this month. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 37 to 29. Romans chapter 8 from 37 to 29. 37 say, yeah, in all these things we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us. We gain an overwhelming victory mm. through him who love us. Yet in all these things, we know that we are more than conqueror. That's right. And we have victory That's in right. him, through him who love us. I stand on this word and I declare over everyone, over the women on the threshing Thank floor, you. from the visionary, yes. to all the coordinators, yes, to all the members, yes, to Lord. all the families. Yes, I declare today yes, that the Holy Spirit will remind you, Amen. will remind you, you shall know Amen. that Amen. in all things you are yes. more than conquerors. Yes, in whatever you are going through, you are more than conqueror. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, ah, because you are more than conqueror, Amen. you will not live a defeated Amen. life. Amen. You will not live a frustrated Amen. life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. according to the word of God, yes. you have an overwhelming Amen. victory Amen. through him because he loves you, because of the love of God, yes. who loves you and sent his only begotten son. Yes. You have an overwhelming victory and I declare from today begin to walk in that victory. Amen. Begin to walk in that victory Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Whatever has happened in your life, whatever is going on right now, yes. I declare Declare yes. the Lord will lift up your head. Yes. Uh, you will walk as a victor. Yes. You will walk in victory yes. because the Lord loves you so much. He will not allow any harm to come near you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 38, for I am convinced mm. and continue to be convinced mm. beyond any doubt, mm. beyond any doubt that neither death mm. nor life nor angels, mm. nor principalities, nor things present or threatening, mm. nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor height, nor other created things, will be able to separate you from the love of God. Yes. I declare oh, in God. the mighty name of Jesus, yes, in this month and beyond, yes, nothing will be able to separate Amen. you from the love of God. Uh, no agenda of the enemy will separate you from the love of God. Uh, no orchestration of darkness will separate you from the love of God. Uh, no agenda, evil manipulation of the enemy will separate you from the love of God. Uh, I pray for somebody to Tonight, uh, whatever condition you are going in, whatever you find yourself in, yes. that is not pleasant. I declare you yes. shall come out stronger. Amen. You shall come out testifying. Amen. That situation will not separate you yes, from Lord. the love of God. Amen. I declare you are grounded in the love of God. Amen. I declare you are immersed Amen. in the love of God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 54 verse 10 says, for the mountains may depart and hills be removed, yes. but my steadfast love shall not depart from yeah. you. My steadfast love oh, shall not God. depart from yes. you, and my covenant of peace shall yes. not be removed, says the Lord. Yes. I stand on that word, and I declare the love of God will not be removed from Amen. you. The love of God will not depart from you. Amen. It will not depart from your home. Amen. It will not depart from your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, and as we have been touched tonight, uh, may the Holy Spirit help you yes. to walk in love. Yes. May the Holy Spirit teach you yes. to radiate the love of God. Amen. May you love as God loves you. Yes. May you love as God intends for you to yes. love in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And I declare yes. in this month every prayer, every petition yes. that has been released yes. on this mountain, yes. on this altar yes. of women on the threshing floor because of the love of God yes. who did not hold his son yes. from being given to us. And he will make sure all your prayers are answered. Amen. All your prayers will be answered Amen. and you will testify about the goodness of God yes, in the mighty name of Jesus 
we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Apostle, for that powerful prayer. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Sir. Thank Amen. you that you always grace us on the floor, especially uh, uh, with the grand finale. We know that we are covered for the next month that is coming, coming up. And we are saying tonight, I am a woman settled by God loving all the way because we were taught that we need to learn God's love through loving. So tonight we are saying, I am a woman settled by God loving all the way. You hate me, I love you. You love me, I love you. Mm. You gossip, I love you. You 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 say things about me, I love mm. you. Whatever you do, I continually love you all the way. I am a woman settled by God loving all the way. Can you just type that out? Go ahead and just type that out on Zoom, on Facebook. Just declare, I am a woman settled by God, loving all the way. I will not change loving you because of what people are doing to mm. me. No, no, no. I will not change loving you because of what you are saying about me. I am a woman settled by God, loving all the way because I'm learning God's love through loving. So I can't do otherwise. I can't do otherwise. All I can do is to love all the way, all the way, all the way. I am a man of God, a woman of God, settled by God, loving all the way. That is what we are saying this week. We are loving all the way. Thank you so much once again, Minister Fuebs, for that powerful message of loving God's love through love. So we are not praying again, Lord, give me love. No, no, no. We are saying, Lord, teach me how to love others. Teach me how to love. And that is why we are making that declaration that we are people, we are women settled by God, loving all the way. Mm. Irrespective of what comes our way, we are loving all oh, the way. Me. Hallelujah. And now as we are signing off, just a kind reminder, our grand, grand finale is coming up on the 27th and the 28th of October here in Ventu. Mm. Please, women on the threshing floor from all the branches, plan to attend. It's going to be extraordinary. Hallelujah. And please to buy your t-shirts, those of you who still don't have your t-shirts, let's not run around. When it is October and mid-October, we might not attend to you. So now is the time. Please uh, call if you need to call. Call Minister Foyt. Call Minister Inet. Talk to them as to where to get the shirts. And please just get uh, um, yourself organized already. Friday night is a, is a, is mandatory for all of us to put on our, our shirts. And then especially women on the threshing floor. Our guests can come, but women on the threshing floor, if you associate with women on the threshing floor, please to get your t-shirts. And then on Friday, we put on our t-shirts. And then on Saturday, we come for the celebration. You can you can just then put on your, your showstopper dress on, on Saturday morning for the celebration and and. May the Lord then bless you and enjoy this weekend. <clears throat> and as we are declaring loving all the way, go ahead and love all the way. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Let go and let God. We are women settled by God, loving all the way. Mm. We don't keep grudges. We don't stay with anger. We love all the way. God bless you. We love you. God bless you, Minister Foibs. God bless you, all the women on the threshing floor. We come back again next week, Friday, with a new theme. We are entering the new month with a new theme. So next week, Friday is the first, and I invite you, let's come again to the floor. Apostle, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you again next week.